We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. It should be a good Diamond Dynasty matchup tonight between the Aliens and the Broncos. Coming to the plate now, Adalberto Mondesi. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Strike one to start the at-bat. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in the zone right there. And even though this is one of the best hitters around, he waved right through it. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bunt single to get him started here. Stepping in now, Hannes Wagner. 1-0 and oh the count. Has a look at the pitch. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Runner going. goes. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. And no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. The one two is going to be a drag bunt. He gets it down. That is third. Here now is Mike Zanino. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat-mouse game continues on. Ready with the 2-0. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. Well, he's in a bit of hot water in this first inning, but if he can start throwing his slider effectively like that, he has a lot better chance of settling into this game. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. So one out here with runners at first and third. And that'll bring up Joey Gallo. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Can't come out of his game plan right here. He knows he's a known sinker baller. I know it was a four-seamer right there, but get back to that two-seam. It's what his M.O. is. And try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Here's Manny Machado now. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. No balls and a strike to count. Oh, and it looks like a visit to the video room may be in order after that hack. It's 0-2 now. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Stepping up now, Ty Cobb. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The pitch. Tries to catch him napping, but he missed the bunt attempt. Strike one. Now a late bunt attempt here, but he misses strike two. Check the swing there, and Larry Bullard says he held up just enough. Ball one. The one-two. He's at the knees and called strike three. So strike. Thing forward now, Omar Vizquel. Now here's the pitch. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And he'll beat the throw as he's got himself a bunt single. Into the box now, Dave Kingman. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Man at first for him following the one-out single. Runner goes for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. He is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. 1-1. One, one. And the runner's breaking for third. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. The one-two. Freezes him. A strikeout looking. Coming to the plate now, Ryan Braun. And he could give his guys an early lead if it can come through here. Fouled away. Vizquel at third with two away. Curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. And he misses two and one. Count is two and one. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. 
Here's the two and two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Second inning set to go, and stepping up is the shortstop, Omar Vizquel. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Runs up and gets this one down. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. So now to the plate, Ted Williams. Pitch inside the throw, and they've got the runner hung up between first and second. They slap the tag on him, and he is out at second base. No score here as we play inning number two. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Ah, great curveball there. Really fooled him with that one. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called. And there are two down. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Brett Saberhagen is in with two away as he takes a ball. 1-0. Now the pitch. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Hey, this guy obviously feels he can move traffic right here. He's taking two big... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And in the bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. Go! Ah, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 now. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. No Digging in good. now, Julio Rodriguez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Short, hit hard. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. So striding in, Mookie Betts. Here comes the first pitch. All one, no strike. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line, but a foul ball, 1 and 2 now. Now here's the pitch. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2 and 2. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might... Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Digging in, Bo Bichette, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Swing and a liner. A dive, but he can't make the play, and it's down the left field line. Throw into second. But it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. Now battle. The second baseman, Adalberto. Into the box, Adalberto Mondesi. As he runs up to bunt, but can't make contact, that's strike one. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. Nope. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Trying to bunt his way aboard to no avail. It's two and two. A runner at second. Nobody out. And he missed with this one up around the noggin. Now it's full. And he's bunting here with two strikes. But this ball will get foul. And that idea didn't pan out. Runner in scoring position at second with one away. And here's a man whose baseball card goes for more than a million bucks. Hannes Wagner. And this is up and in ball one. And it's fouled away. The 1-1. One, one. 
lifted in the air to center field. Betts has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. So here's Mike Zanino. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Boy, not even close with that one, and he's behind 0 and 1. And oh, this one's by him to the backstop. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. 0 and 2. Here it is. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Piggio is after it, and the throw to first ends the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Alex Reyes. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. In there, and it's 0-1. Well-located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. And yeah, not much of an effort there as he'll look at strike Batting three nine. called. And on three Second. pitches, he's your first out of the inning. Now here it comes. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And he's safe. And now Ty Cobb. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. Trying to bunt his way aboard, but this will get foul. Now the one and one pitch. It is a bunt attempt, but he missed it. One ball, two strikes. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Runner's going. Pitch inside the throw. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. This is skied into short left center. Viskel ranging into the outfield. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Digging in to try it again. Omar Viskel. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Runners on his way to third. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And he will be nailed at third on a questionable decision to say the least in the inning. All set for the start of the fourth. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Joey Gallo. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on to get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Now the 2-0. A swing and a miss, strike one. That's evidence of a pitcher and catcher being totally in sync out there. That tells me they both know that's a good pitch for him right now. The 3-1 and one pitch. He has swung on and missed a full count now. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Digging in for his second at bat, Manny Machado. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. No balls in one strike. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 oh, and 2. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Cobb moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one. Now that. Ready for another chance? Omar Vizquel, as the switch hitter, will take his cuts left-handed here. First pitch on its way. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. In the dirt here. Now he thought about first here, but he'll go to second instead. And now he throws on the brakes, but he can't get back to first, and he's nailed for... third baseman will have a look at it but this is back into the seats the one two 
swung on in the dirt. Strike three. Biggio corrals it. The throw to first is in time and ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And stepping in will be the very fleet-footed Omar Vizquel. Heading out towards shallow right. Williams is there. One out. Stepping in, Dave Kingman. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Called strike two as he locks him up there. I'm absolutely shocked he took that pitch right there. Right in the wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you've got to let go on. Three and two now. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The next 3-2. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of this one into the upper deck and gone. At the plate, Ryan Braun. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Made him look silly with that one. Oh, and they pulled the a string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second now time tonight. The second base and he chases one up the ladder as he hits a high fly ball out to straightaway center. And that'll get down for a base hit. And this will bang up against the wall. And he is in to third with a two-out triple. Now back, left fielder. Standing in now, Julio Rodriguez. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game. Leading off the inning, Ted Williams. As they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Ted ready to deliver here's the first pitch well hit the other way again it's into the gap he takes the turn and heads for second and he is in the second base with a leadoff double now back to the plate now Brett Saberhagen and he pops up the bunt attempt Kingman's there to make the catch one away so stepping in Bobachette as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Runner at second here with one man out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Bichette is retired, two down now. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Adalberto Mondesi. He's a diamond-level player, widely recognized for his blazing speed on the base paths. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. And he runs that one high and tight for ball one. Runs up and gets this one down. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. Now back, the field, Stepping in now, Hannes Wagner. As he'll run up to bunt here, but misses for strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Tries to drop one down here, but he misses. Strike two. Runners on first and third, two away. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Piggio has it, and that ends the inning. 
set now for the bottom of the fifth. And digging in is the outfielder, Mookie Betts. And this one runs up high, ball one. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Into the box now, Alex now Reyes. He grounds it sharply to third. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Craig Biggio. First offering on its way. Line toward center field. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. The back. The right field. Cobb. In now, Ty Cobb. Cobb. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Sets the target low here, and it misses 1-1. One one. This is a tough guy to turn 2 on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. Mondesi picks it up. Only play will be to first, so with the runner in motion, they stay out of the double play. And now they're going to tag the runner from first. All set for the start of the inning, and next will be the imposing power back, Mike Zanino. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. Now you could just see this guy out on the mound right here. Just the body language. He knows he's on top of his game. Executing a nasty slider down the way right there. Giving this offense no chance. A ball and a strike to Mike Zanino. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. Two -two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for route number one. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. In today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that today, swinging at way too many pitches outside the zone. Uh, he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Out in front of it, strike one. Both teams with six hits so far. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Slow little roller to third. Scooped up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Digging in once again, Omar Vizquel. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Now a bunt attempt here. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. The windup and the 0-1. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. But this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. Now batting. Digging in and the looking for more, Dave Kingman. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And a ball 1-0. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Now the pitch. 
ball. That no ball. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Williams is there. Two down. Now in the box, Ryan Braun. He looked to bounce back Ryan. after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down. And we'll have to leave it there as the play. Seventh inning ready to roll. And that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Omar Vizquel. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. So now to the plate, Ted Williams. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Here it comes, 1-0. And this one's in the dirt. And a heads-up play to get back to first as he wisely hadn't gotten too far from the bag. A 3-0. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Brett Saberhagen. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Liam Hendricks comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Rod Carew will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Rod Carew. Swung on and missed for the first strike. First and second here with nobody out. 0-2 to Rod Carew. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now battle. Ready once again, Bo Bichette. One for two in the ballgame thus far. Popped straight up. Hendricks is there for it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Adalberto Mondesi is looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. And it appears they're going to give him the intentional walk here, so now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. Couldn't resist on that one, and he's behind nothing in one. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. And that's going to bring in the run from third, and just like that, it's back to a one-run ball game. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Behind 0 and 2 now. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Breaking pitch and this bounces in front of the catcher. Up to two balls and two strikes now. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. The runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now. 3-2. and two. Payoff pitch on its way. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. He set the payoff pitch. Adi jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Back goes Betts. Still going back. Goodbye home run. Seven. 
So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo as the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. No hits to this point. Hey, look out as he threw behind him at head level. It's ball two. Mm, and now things are starting to get a little more interesting down there. As you can see, he's taking some exception to the location of that last pitch. Swing, and this is also hit well. Out to deep center. Goodbye, home run. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Now back the first base. And the job. And in steps Manny Machado. As he'll chase one up around the letters here for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. A ball and a strike now to Machado. Two out, nobody on. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. The three one. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Bichette ranging into the outfield. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Kerry Wood gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Last half of the seventh here, and next the dangerous power threat, Bo Bichette. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Now the nothing and one from Wood. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Every ball club has that spark plug guy. And this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. 2-1 pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Julio Rodriguez will be next. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Now batter. Stepping into the box, Julio Rodriguez. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. In there, a base hit. Now batter. Here's Mookie Betts. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's one for two in this one. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Joey Gallo will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Now coming with the pink hit. Joey Gallo. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. Good cut fastball in there. One and one. Runners are at first and second with one away. Swing and a miss as he ran that in on him. A ball and two strikes. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. Wood looks back. Now comes home. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Now Stepping into Get the box, it. Craig Biggio. Two hits in two trips Biggio. more than thus far. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Dylan Batensis has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Digging in the switch hitter, Omar Vizquel. He's two for three thus far. Braun has room in foul territory. One away. 
Into the box now. Ted Williams. He doubled earlier in the game. One for two to this point. And that's swung on and missed for strike one. A swinging strike. And now it's 0-2. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Jeff McNeil is into the on-deck circle now, and that'll spell the end of the start for Kerry Wood. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the... And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. How bad? Standing in now, Bo Bichette. Bo Bichette. In the dirt here. And boy, he didn't quite know what to do on that one, but he's lucky to barely get back at first. Here it comes, 1-0. Fly ball out toward left center field. And that's in there. Base hit. McNeil ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. And he is safe at the plate as they continue to pile on. It's now a 7-2 ball game. And he'll just slap the tag. Ladies and gentlemen. So a new pitcher entering the fray now. It'll be the hard-throwing right-hander Craig Kimbrell. At the plate, Ty Cobb. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. Wagner is there, and he has it for the first out. Standing in, Omar Vizquel. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Striding into the box, Dave Kingman. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ryan Braun. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Two out with the man at first. Ball one. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Off speed pitch, just missed inside. And he misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Kimbrell pauses. Here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Didn't threaten the zone there. Looked like it might have actually popped out of his hand a little early. A shot down the first baseline. And this will get past him down the line at first. It's a fair ball. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. But the feed to the second baseman is a wide one. And the runner scores all the way from first as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a 7-4 contest. Outside with the fastball, that's 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Count even at two and two. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. 
all set to start the ninth in this one. And Stan begin as the switch hitting second baseman, Adalberto Mondesi. Strike one to start the at bat. Now he'll try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. 0 oh, and 2 count. Here's the pitch. Can't get it down on the pitch in the dirt. The throw to first is in time. One down. Settling in now, Hannes Wagner. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit high and deep to right center. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Now that. In now, Mike Zanino. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. Mookie. Nick Anderson, the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. A 1-1. One, one. Swung on and hit on the ground to Vizquel at short. Reined in. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Gavin Lux will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Your attention, please. Now coming in the pink hit, number nine. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause. And there are two away now. Stepping in, Craig Biggio. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. 0 and 1 the count. Now here's the pitch. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. A ball and two strikes. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Good hard sinker, but he lays off to even things at 2-2. Two and two. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. 3-2. and two. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Swing and a liner. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it. So it'll be scored as an infield single. Into the box, Omar Vizquel. Now a bunt attempt here. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Yeah, you take a look at that two-seamer right there. Sanker had nasty downward plane on that ball. That thing must have gone down at least six inches. Vizquel picks it up. And a high throw to first, but he's able to reach up and grab it, and this ball game is over. This isn't the result we all thought we'd see in this one, but the lesser division team comes out on top at the end. 
It's always kind of cool to see the underdog come through, and they really deserve to win this one. 7-4 to four is the final score in tonight's game. The Aliens jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Brett Saberhagen takes home the win. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. No error if they left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 33 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.